Here we have different different levels that the gates are at. Some are higher and some are lower than each other, and so it adds an extra dimension for the pilots to fly three-dimensionally through the track. We have three axes in an airplane. First of all, it's a vertical axis, what you steer with a rudder with your feet, with your legs. The second axis is the lateral axis, what you steer with your elevator. It's going up and down. And the reference is always the nose, because the only thing you see on an airplane is up front, and that's the nose. And then we have the longitudinal axis, which is steered with the ailerons. You roll the airplane. The most important is that it's harmonized. When we deflect these flight controls, it causes some adverse yaw on the plane. It can get the nose of the, the plane to move side to side. This is something we don't want. We want the plane staying pointed directly into the airflow. You can see in the smoke trail at some of the guys, sometimes on mine as well, yeah, that the plane is going like this and the smoke is going a different direction. That means the airplane is not steered and controlled correctly. And you lose time with that because it's dragged. The airways, it's exactly the same than on a normal airplane. The big difference is it's going much quicker and we have much less room for error because it's just a blink of an eye for a decision what we do here. This aircraft will roll over 400 degrees a second, so that would be a full roll in less than one second. So to stop it, uh, establish a bank and pull exactly as I need for a sharp turn in the track like the chicane, for example, or even to come level immediately at the gate. It's all uh, just lots of practice and internal timing. So uh, we spent a lot of time training reaction speed and just getting really used to the sensitivity of the controls. For me, I get in this airplane and I strap into it, but it's almost like an extension of my body. I don't feel as if I'm making a control input that's moving a big machine around me. I just think, okay, I need to move like this through the course. A normal airplane, generally, pilots don't do any setup. That's just how the airplane flies. We do a lot of setup to get it to fly how the pilot wants it to fly. You can adjust every airplane. Everyone has a different need or wish how to set up this airplane, and that's why every airplane flies a little bit different here. I have mine set up just how I like it. But if I were to get in uh, Matthias's or Hannes's plane, it would probably feel different. I don't know, they don't let me fly their planes.